Hey guys, it's me Devin and today I'm going to be doing my first ever Friday Reads video. As some of you may know, tomorrow the 26th of April is Dewey's 24 hour readathon. I've never participated in this readathon before, I've done other ones thanks to booktubers, but this is my first 24 hour readathon. So I decided to, you know, sign up, I'm going to be updating all my reading on Twitter, so if you want, you can follow me at, at beyondbooks28, I'll leave a link in the description bar. And you can follow me to see the books I'm reading and the updates. So I'm going to start this off with Friday Reads part. And this is the book I am currently reading. And that book is Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delaria. Now this book is basically about a girl who has to write a letter to a dead person for an English assignment. But she takes it much further and you learn all about her life through these letters. And it's really good so far. I'm like a third into it so I should be able to finish this by tomorrow night. Now the next book I want to read, I don't really want to complete, I just want to get a good chunk of through because this book and The Love Letters to the Dead are both my book of the month picks for the Goodreads group I moderate, YA Lovers, and that book is I Am Number 4 by Pitticus Lore. Most of you guys know what this is about, aliens coming to Earth and they're slowly getting killed off so they got to find a way to save themselves. I'm about a third through this as well and I'm using an mp3 format type audiobook to let me read this when I'm not, you know, able to sit down and read. And it's good. I like audiobooks that are MP3 format. That way I can just, you know, go for a walk without actually carrying like a CD player, which I still own for those reasons for audiobooks. So hopefully I can get to this one. Now this next book, I don't want to finish either because I don't think I'm going to be able to, but this book I'm reading for my English class and that is Minotaur Takes a Cigarette Break by Stephen Schur. Cheryl. This is basically like a myth type story about a minotaur who survived all those years from Greek myth and is now a short order fry cook at a restaurant. I don't want to finish this, I just want to get like a good chunk through because I have to read it by Monday. So hopefully this doesn't put me in some sort of slump. Sometimes school related books tend to do that to me. So this is another book I'm going to be tackling. Now the next couple books I am going to show you are books that I I'm putting on the side, that way if I finish the first couple books or if I read what I want to with the first books I've shown you, these are kind of like what books I'll be picking from. These I'm not going to guarantee I'm going to get to. I'm just giving myself a, you know, give myself a good choice of books to read. And that first book is The Boy in the Bridge by Natalie Standiford. Standiford. Standiford? By Natalie Standiford. I am sorry if I butchered your last name. I am not very good with names. This basically is a romance that takes place in Russia during the Cold War. It's another short, this one's like the shortest book I own, it's like 240 pages. Shortest YA book I own at least. So this should be a quick read if I do get a chance to this. The next couple books I might get to, depending on my mood, are the first seven books in the Witch series. You got book one through seven here. Now I've read the first couple ones when I was in elementary school and I own basically every single one in the series and there's about 26. So I figured if, I, you know, if I'm in a slump or something, I can just pick up one of these because they're like 140 pages. They're really short. And you know they've got a little comic thing inside too, so she, these should be quick reads if I need some. And the last book I might get to, depending on my mood, is Taken by Aaron Bowman. Now I read this when it first came out last April, and I don't really remember much in it. I didn't enjoy it. And I know her second book just came out, so this is on my maybe pile. That way I can reread this and get to her second book, Frozen. So those are all the books that I might be reading this weekend. Like I said, I can't guarantee which books I'm going to get to, but at least I gave myself a good stack to choose from. I hope those who are doing this Dewey Readathon have a good day of reading. Don't put too much pressure on it. It's just a fun time. 